If you have ever looked at carbon fiber guitars online, then you'll know that they can be pretty expensive. Even just a guitar with a carbon fiber neck. Wait a second, let me back up here because I know there are at least a few people wondering right now, what the f is carbon fiber and why would you want that on a guitar? Isn't that for cars? Carbon fiber is a polymer often referred to as graphite fiber. It's an incredibly strong and lightweight material and when compared to something like wood is much stronger and more resilient to the elements. So for a guitar, it seems like it'd be a pretty good choice as opposed to wood, which expands and shrinks and bends with the changes in its immediate environment. I've always been interested in trying a carbon fiber guitar just out of morbid curiosity, but even more so after recently trying out an aluminum neck guitar. That guitar made me realize that different different materials have some really interesting characteristics. And one of the advantages of carbon fiber over aluminum is it's much lighter. So when Enya reached out and asked me if they could sponsor a video for their new Nova Go Sonic carbon fiber electric guitar, this Les Paul style carbon fiber electric guitar, definitely not authentic, I said yes. And in full transparency, Enya is sponsoring this video, so I will be demoing this guitar, relaying any relevant information to you, but keeping my own personal opinions out of this video as much as humanly possible, so that way you can come to your own conclusions. If you are interested in one of these guitars, I will leave a link in the description below where you can check them out. So with all of that out of the way, let's get into it. Now, there are a few things that are very interesting about this guitar, one of which is it's carbon fiber. Not only is it carbon fiber, but it is a relatively inexpensive carbon fiber guitar, which is interesting in and of itself, but it also has some other interesting feature. We're gonna get into it here in a second. Let me get the box open and we can look at it. Here is the guitar. Okay. Oh, we got one of these bag things. This guitar feels uh, kind of weighty. Not weighty like a Les Paul or anything like that, but uh, probably, you know, a few pounds. Maybe Daryl can put on the screen how much it weighs, but this gig bag has pretty decent padding on it. And it's actually got one of those neck block things. You don't care about the gig bag. So here we go. This is the Nova Go Sonic. So this is a smart guitar. We have built in multi effects here. We also have a built in speaker, which makes this kind of interesting if you wanted to take it uh, somewhere with you, you know, and be able to play and not have to have another thing you have to bring like an amplifier or whatever. You know, you could just make sounds out of this hole right here on the guitar. Now, the biggest things that are interesting to me about this guitar though, are the fact that it is carbon fiber and it is a relatively affordable carbon fiber guitar. From my very brief research for this video, it seems like carbon fiber guitars are super, super expensive. And this one by comparison seems very inexpensive. Now, why would you be interested in a carbon fiber guitar? Well, because wood will acclimate to your environment. So the idea with carbon fiber is there is like less moisture absorption or no moisture absorption. I don't know, I'm not a scientist, but there's less moisture absorption than wood. So you don't need to adjust it as often. Uh, humidity, things like that are not going to change the bow in the neck. It is supposedly a much more stable material. Now, does that mean it's better for making guitar? I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, we're gonna play this. We're gonna see if it affects anything. Tone, tone wood. I don't know, maybe, we'll find out. The other thing that strikes me right away after taking this out of the box is this guitar actually has a zero fret, which you don't see, it's not super common on guitars. Now, if you don't know what a zero fret is and you're not used to seeing them on guitar, I mean, I'm definitely not used to seeing them on guitars, it's pretty uncommon. But if you don't know what a zero fret is, that could kind of look jarring to you, like they made some sort of mistake with the guitar. But what a zero fret actually does is it takes pressure off the nut and it's supposed to help the guitar intonate better and it's supposed to help the strings uh, have lower action because they're more level across the fretboard. I only own one other guitar with a zero fret and it's a headless guitar, so take that for what it is. Uh, these frets are rounded edge frets. I'm not sure what the material, you know what? Let's just read the specs. The Enya Nova Go Sonic is a 38 inch full size smart electric guitar. It has an integrated wireless speaker with built in effects. The Enya Go Sonic weighs just six pounds and it is two and one quarter inches in thickness. It has an asymmetric neck profile, meaning it is a little bit chunkier down at the nut and a little bit thinner up at the higher frets. It also includes the zero fret, like I mentioned before, and has a 16 inch neck radius. The fretboard, as well as the rest of the guitar, is constructed out of carbon fiber and polycarbonate. It has a USB type C port, as well as an eighth inch headphone out, in addition to the quarter inch output. You can use the type C port to charge the guitar, as well as use it as an on the go port to plug into an audio interface or your computer. The speaker inside the guitar is an Enya AR Tech 10 watt speaker. The battery is 7.4 volts and 2600 milliamp hours. Not counting the zero fret, we have 22 frets. And while the fret material is not listed in the specifications, they are rounded end frets. We have a heel mount truss rod adjustment, two Alnico humbucking pickups, three-way toggle switch, a single volume knob, which can also be tapped to change the pickups from series to parallel. And then we have this knob slash button, which controls the multi effects. And all of this comes in at $399.99 US. 
Okay, I'm just really curious before I set this up and demo it or anything. I just want to uh, turn this on here. And... Ha! I'm surprised this guitar arrived in such a low tuning. They must have thought they were sending this to Andrew Bana or something. Okay, that was a really interesting experience. I'm going to set this guitar up. We will plug it in to an actual amplifier to test out just the pickups, as opposed to the internal effects that are built into it. Let's do it. What's up guys? I have the Novago Sonic plugged into my VHT Deliverance 120 that is being boosted with the Lichlerum Medusa. I also have this sound meter over here so you can kind of tell how loud things are. There's no other way for me to really convey that to you through YouTube without something. So uh, just take that for what it's worth. The first thing that I want to do here before we get into the amplifier though, is just show you the app and what you can actually do with the built-in speaker. If I can quit hitting this microphone and show you what you can do with the built-in speaker. So let's just go ahead and turn this on. Eventually. Oh, the built-in speaker doesn't work while it's plugged in. So there you go. <laughs> Don't have it plugged in and try to use the built-in speaker. <laughs> You can kind of get a sense of how loud that is. It's at about 89 decibels right now. And just my normal talking voice is about 74, 75. It's louder than a normal conversation. This is a clean tone that I dialed in. Now let me open the app for you here so you can see what's going on. You connect to the guitar through the Enya Music app. And this is the same thing you would use if you were using one of their acoustics or whatever. It's the same app. There's not a ton of different effects and amplifiers that you can choose from as you'll see here in a second, but this is a clean tone that I have dialed in. This is our signal chain that we have here. There's an equalizer. There's a modulation vibrato. Let's drag that out of the signal chain. Now this is the same for all four different modes with the little button here. You can adjust each one independently and then every one of those four modes has like four presets, I would call them. Uh, you can only access one of the presets with the button, but if you open the app, you have four presets for each color or tone style. And despite the limitation, I think it's actually a pretty decent ambient clean tone. Let's just go straight to a high gain tone. You do have overdrive and distortion channels, but like I mentioned, it's the same signal chain for each channel, so it doesn't really matter too much. Let's just go in here. There's the issue. So we do have a noise gate here and you're gonna have to get used to running that pretty low. And the issue here is a pretty obvious one. We have the pickups in very close relation to the speaker. So you can only add so much gain and volume before you start getting feedback. But with the built-in noise reducer, uh, you can actually cut that feedback out, so. You have an auto on off setting, which is kind of nice because if you're like me and you forget to turn things off, you won't come back to a dead battery. So we could set that for 15 minutes and your firmware update. And that's pretty much the app. So with that being said, let's get this microphone out of the way and let's turn this off and then let's plug it in and turn the amp on. Is the Nova Go plugged directly into the amp? We don't have the boost engaged yet. Okay, now that I'm actually playing the guitar and getting a feel for it, I would describe the neck as a C-shaped neck. It's a little bit thicker than maybe the Jackson's or the Solar that I have hanging up there, but not by much. It's not a huge noticeable difference in between those neck profiles. So I would call it a mostly shreddy neck. It is a C-shaped neck. It's pretty comfortable in the hand. And the asymmetrical feature I would describe as very subtle. I don't really notice a major difference on it. I don't notice like a shape difference between up here and down here. These are just things that I'm noticing. Let's get back to the chugs. <laughs> The 
reason that I haven't boosted this amplifier yet is because I don't want to tighten up the low end. I wanted to demonstrate how thick sounding this guitar is. For a guitar that weighs only six pounds, this produces a surprisingly thick guitar tone. <laughs> But let's boost it. Now this is my first experience playing a carbon fiber guitar, so take that with a grain of salt because the information that I'm gonna to relay to you right now might be a little bit skewed because I don't have a frame of reference for it. But I would say with what I mentioned before, with this guitar producing a surprisingly thick guitar tone for something that is so thin and lightweight, and not only that, but a huge amount of the body is this speaker cavity as well. And the characteristic is quite a bit different from typical wood guitars. Like if you saw my video with the aluminum neck guitar that I made a while back, that guitar was wildly different because it has a solid aluminum neck. So it had increased sustain. It had this very interesting bite to it that most guitars don't have. And it's just a very unique sounding guitar. I would say that this guitar falls somewhere in between a normal wood guitar and that aluminum neck guitar. <laughs> Let's plug in another guitar for a frame of reference. This is a Jackson American Virtuoso. This is made out of mahogany. I believe the neckwood is maple. It has a JB in the bridge. Okay, let's go back to the Enya guitar. It's a little bit brighter than the Virtuoso actually by comparison, but it sounds much thicker and full than I would expect a guitar that is this thin and again has the hollow body cavity for the speaker to be. It's very interesting, but it still strikes a good balance with note definition. <laughs> Another thing that I want to mention while I was tuning this guitar and getting it ready, I actually didn't have to adjust anything. The neck is still very, very straight. I mean, the neck is almost completely flat. On a normal wood neck, I would expect to have to adjust the truss rod a little bit, but I didn't have to in this case. Does that mean anything? No, not necessarily, but I'm just pointing it out. And for reference, I'm playing Ernie Ball Beefy Slinkies in C standard. And yeah, the neck just stayed the same. I didn't have to intonate anything either. Now, does that mean that the zero fret is working its magic? Maybe, I don't really know. And also another note with the setup, I was able to get the strings very, very close to the fretboard. I was able to get the action very low on this guitar without a whole lot of effort. So again, I'm just pointing this information out to you. I thought it might be useful. Does that have to do with it being a carbon fiber guitar? I wouldn't know. I've never played a carbon fiber guitar before, but it's a very interesting first experience. <laughs> Okay, so there you have it. The Nova Go, a very interesting and unique carbon fiber guitar in a single cut LP style. Shout out to Enya for sponsoring this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit the like button. If you really like what I do here on the channel, consider subscribing or joining us over on Patreon. There's more information on that down in the description and I will see you in the next video. Bye.